got everything? All right, so tape's rolling. We're at three, two, one. Name is Chris Bromery, and I am a lifelong registered Republican. Name three specific reasons that you believe Mr. Trump would be the right choice. I'll, I'll do better. I'll name actually three reasons why I think he would be a good choice and three reasons that I'm not voting for Hillary. So first for Donald Trump, uh, number one, um, the economy. I do feel that he would probably have a better effect on the economy. If you look at the last eight years, um, we've definitely seen uh, a situation that hasn't been great for all people. I think you've seen that, um, you know, where the old saying where a rising tide raises all ships isn't necessarily the case here. I think there's some people that are definitely better off than they were, but the majority, the vast majority, including myself, are not. So with that being the case, um, I think he would be, do a better job on the economy. Uh, Included in that is also the fact of creating jobs. Um, I feel he would be better at creating jobs. He's actually created jobs, unlike um, our, his competitor. And I feel like he kind of has the sense of what motivates the people. And that's good and bad. I mean, I think he is on the pulse, has his finger on the pulse, of what the average American would want and would make them better. And, and, make their lives better in the future. Uh, and then I would say lastly is probably um, immigration. For me, I look at the dangers of a loose immigration policy. I look at um, the draw and the drain on the economy that it has. So we're playing into that kind of first theory, if you will, with the, with the economy. Um, and I feel like it's not necessarily fair or safe to, again, the average American uh, in the sense of having open borders, which is what the, uh, what the competitor wants. Uh, and then I'd say the quick three things on uh, the reason that I would never vote for Hillary is because of, number one is the corruption. And I think we've seen it um, you know, <laughs> forever, uh, since back when Bill Clinton was president. And I just feel like at this stage, there's, there's a lot of illegal activity that's going on, but we'll get, we can get into that at a different time. And then um, I just don't feel that eight more years of exactly the same thing is exactly what we're looking for at this stage in the game. Mr. Trump doesn't seem to respond well to criticism. How do you think this will affect the United States relationship with other countries if he becomes president? Well, I think that as a leader, you've got to lead with toughness. I, can't, I don't think you can um, you know, stand up to a dictatorship or stand up to a threat with trying to play nice all the time. Yes, I mean, I think you should always try diplomacy first. But I do feel that there's a lot of times when you do need to show an iron fist. That doesn't mean necessarily that I'm looking to be uh, have a warmonger in, in the place or in the White House. Um, but what I do think is important is that we need to show that we have a backbone, that we're a strong country that is not going to allow ourselves to be pushed around. Um, you know, the fact that he is, has some pride and is, is um, really proud of who he is and how he was made um, and where he came from, I'm okay with that. And I really don't think that the rumors out there or the, the you know, the left saying that he's got his finger on the nuclear uh, uh, trigger all the time. I don't think that's the case. I think he understands the stakes of the game. But what I think is important is that we're not going to sit here and, and bow down to other countries like we've been doing for the past eight years. I think that's important, that we, we show strength, we lead with strength, and we become a strong country like we used to be. Have you always been attracted to Republican candidates and why? So I was uh, brought up in a Republican family. My dad and my mother were both Republicans. Um, it was all I ever knew. Um, they were always conservative. They were always had those values that were really important to them and instilled in them. And I really feel like, for me, I feel like I was better off because of it. I feel like I was brought up and really enjoyed um, the fruits of what it did. I watched my father thrive with being a Republican. And, and really, you know, it goes back to probably Reagan. Where, which was really, I wouldn't say he was the first president that I remember, but he was the first president that, that I remember really kind of being involved in politics and being, um, I guess you'd say vested in it, I guess, a little bit. Uh, I was still pretty young at the time, but I was, you know, I was in high school and it was that type of thing where I could actually understand a little bit more about it. And I kind of liked his leadership a lot. And he's probably the last, I wouldn't say he was the last president that I truly respected, but I'm saying as far as the, the perfect roundness of a presidency, uh, I really think he encompassed all of that. Um, he handled 
um, you know, economic issues very, very well. And I think he handled um, different things with, in terms of foreign policy extremely well as, as, as well. So, um, you know, I think for me, it was all I ever knew uh, from a success standpoint. And my family, I feel, was, was um, better off under his and subsequent Republican presidents uh, after him. And so I think I've always been that way and felt that way. Some of Trump, Mr. Trump's proposals are a bit controversial, such as building a large wall on the Mexican border. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? So again, if I go back to my policy uh, or my thoughts on the policy of immigration, I think it is important uh, that we do not have open borders. Now, you know, you can probably take the, the wall as a metaphor if you want or truly building a huge wall. Uh, I do think we need to secure our borders. I do think if, if, it, if it takes building this wall, absolutely, we should do it. Um, but I, I look at that more metaphorically. That, that tells me where he stands and really what's important to him with, his, with regards to our immigration policy, where we're not gonna have a, um, an open border, where we're not gonna be lax in our vetting of any kind of immigration or any immigrants that come over from Syria or wherever. And I think that's hugely important to us. So if it means we have to build a wall to make that happen and include the vetting of, of current immigrants that are here, and also ones that are coming through, I'm totally fine with that, and I have no issues with it. With regards to who pays for it, if Mexico pays for it, I think it's great, and we know they're not gonna write a check. It's going to be in the trade deficit, and that's how it's gonna work, and I'm fine with that as well. In closing, give me your pitch on why, um, why Trump is the right choice for president. Yeah, it's pretty simple, because I think that if you look back and you look at uh, the, the cloud of just scandal that surrounds the Clinton, the Clintons, and including going back to the Clinton administration. And you look at what a true politician, and I don't mean that in a good sense, I mean that in a bad sense, um, that's what they are. They're a political family that has been in power for, for ages. And I think it's very simple. If you were to ask Hillary why she wants to be president, I don't think she could tell you. But if you ask Donald Trump that, he'll talk about the three things that I talked about, which is immigration, and we can talk about the economy, and we can talk about foreign policy. And all three of those things, uh, he's kind of in line with what I feel my values are. Does he say things the way I would want him to say things all the time? No, absolutely not. He's inflammatory. Um, he's very off the cuff. But what that tells me is that he's not saying things to be political. He's saying things to be to be telling the people exactly what he is and who he is. There's nothing hiding behind that. Whereas I don't think you could say the same thing about his competitor. Um, and I'd rather have someone that is truly transparent and you know exactly what you're getting than someone that tries to hide behind everything um, and the law and all sorts of uh, political power that they've held for, for many, many years. And that's why. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Let's cut that.